guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to be back over in this spot making a super easy dish for you guys. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. And um, I hadn't even planned this video uh, today. But you know I had told you guys that um, I think it was in the weekly meal. That was the stove. Just, that was my stove done preheated. But then I was I was fixing this. I'm going to fix this cake for dinner tomorrow. And I said if I don't fix it, I, I don't if I don't fix this cake for the guys, uh, it just ain't no telling when I get back around to it. I said I gotta stop all this forgetting and just going to do stuff. Esther and I uh, can't find those uh, recipes and stuff. But let me tell you something, guys, about this cake. This is the one I told you guys that my neighbor shared the recipe with me. And she told me that she had this here real easy, simple, uh, moist cake that she do. She said it was real easy, delicious, and all of that stuff. All them addresses added to the cake. Easy, delicious, and simple. And she was eggs. And you was exactly right, neighbor, which I have already told her that. So guys, let me tell you, I'm not. I'm. A, that's the reason I'm. I'm going ahead on to do it, just to show you how easy it is. Cause all these staples I had in my in my pantry. <coughs> oh, you okay? Um. Anyway, so I I grabbed. A, you know, when I was getting ready to uh, mix it before I uh I was gonna do this before I left. I had a few things I want to do for for I go out this evening. And then I thought about it. I said, let me go ahead and just mix this cake up. And I went up, really rushed over and got the ingredients together. I said, I'd have been telling the guys that uh, I was going to show them uh, this cake. So, guys, let me tell you simply what you're going to need. You're going to need a box of yellow cake mix. Guys, don't ever sleep on these cake mix cakes. Because nowadays, you've got this convenience. It's absolutely de delicious and go for it. Homemade is okay. Especially when you got somebody that's doing homemade. Been doing it for years like I have. And knowing how to up these ingredients to make it right. And uh, not add stuff to it that you ain't supposed to to make. You know, when you get home, you, I mean, when you are doing it yourself, you may make a mess. So what you're going to do is simply follow the directions um, on the uh, back of the uh, cake mix. And it don't matter what type of yellow cake mix, that's what she told me. It don't matter what type that you, uh, what, it don't matter what brand you get, but just as long as it's a yellow cake mix. Now I have used a Duncan Hine and I have used a Pickle of Wigglers before. And all of them work just fine. And uh, I'm going to tell you this here before I forget it. I had did some upgrades on this. But I'm giving it to you guys just like it was given to me. Simply because I want you guys to use your creative ability and skills or whatever to upgrade stuff and make it your own. That is what's going to help you guys get the... Uh, knowledge or either the mm, say so I can take you know just say you have a favorite cake mix that's a spice cake a spice mix cake mix you say you know you'll think you know what I can add that there and add this into it and just whatever that's how uh greatness is created that's how they may did a lot of things just try trying it or just thinking it up and um a lot of that I did when um I got uh, got a lot of experience in cooking, and you know, not necessarily having nobody. I mean, necessarily nobody teaching me that, but I always try to share with people. So, okay, guys, you're gonna need this, and like I say, um, you're gonna follow it, the uh, instructions on the back of it as to how to mix it up. But it's something else that you're gonna have to add to it. You're gonna have to add a can. A coconut pecan frosting. That's the only difference in what you uh, that's on the back of the uh, cake box. And I'll show you when you put this in at what point you put this in. And okay, guys, you're gonna need some uh, and uh, a baker's joy. Now, uh, 
she told me that's what she used. Because I always use that other one. I will do it, but I found out this, that Baker Joy uh, works fine with that. Because, you know, I always had that, but I just never did particularly do it. And use a blunt, blunt pan to fix it in if you would like. But uh, this is what the recipe calls for. And I already got it sprayed with the uh, Baker Joy. And like I said, I got the three. This this particular cake mix calls for three large eggs, uh, one cup of water, and then this is a half a cup of vegetable oil of your choice. But this is some Crisco that I got over here. Okay, guys, let's get the mixing. Let's get the mixing this cake. Show you how they may do. I always kind of smush my uh cake mix up like this guy just in case there's some lumps in it I'll get up back here in my hand I put that uh, the cake pan in and got some of that oil on my hand made it a little slippery then I'm just gonna take my kitchen shears put it in the bag and put that over there Guys, you remember how Mamie always told you guys, don't just dump everything in. And, um, thank you. Even though the recipe may cause for it, for it, I like to kind of, you know, kind of go in a little order of stages to make it real easy and simple to mix up. Okay, guys, let me do my eggs. I'll show you how they may do her eggs when she making cake mix stuff, stuff like that. Just dump that over there in the sink for the garbage disposal. No, I ain't gonna put it down the garbage disposal. Okay, okay. Let me rinse my hand just. A egg off of it. And then guys, I always, when I'm mixing cake mix and stuff like that, I beat my eggs. I like to beat my eggs before I put them in there. Just stick it fork in there and break that down. Just beat them up. You sure don't have to, you so don't have to do that. But that's a tip I just want to share with you guys. Cause I'm all up in the camera. Don't let them look up my nose. <laughs> let me get me a paper towel, guys. Then go ahead on and put your little cup of water over in there. I'm going to start to eat. I know to kind of start out slow so you won't be splashing stuff everywhere. Okay, and in goes this uh Half a cup of oil. Oh, thanks, Tuck. You're welcome. <laughs> and then, guys, we're just going to get this mixed well. No, it won't take long to mix it up. But you're going to make sure it's mixed up now. I never mix my uh, span meats around for something like this. It's more trouble getting it out than to just put it on up like this. Okay, I'll get my spatula and do a quick scrape down. Guys, I done told you guys, uh, please don't make nothing complicated or hard or a big test. And stuff that you don't have to. You know, some people act like you are uh, getting ready to do brain surgery. 
to do cakes and stuff instead of just going ahead on and telling you so you know that just not it's just not that it's just not that serious but um I think some people want to make it thank you just thank you if they are in a uh, recipe a way of doing stuff is uh it's a lot it's just something special Only ingredients I recommend you do with it when you prepare it, just put the love in it. And put the love in it, it's gonna make you. Let me get this sunscreen now. This is not cooperating up here. I don't want that dripping everywhere. Okay, guys, you see how much I mix that up? Not very much. Now I'm going in with this uh, frosting. I just thought of something I'm going to do, guys. I had no idea I was going to do this here. Just getting this in frosting out of there made me think of it. I'm going to clean this container out, drill some holes in it, and uh, take my uh, seed starter, either whichever I mix up, and I'm going to use that as to, to start off some uh, my seeds and stuff in the... Uh, in the uh, greenhouse. I used the cooks that I had got my eggplants and stuff out of. Britain, I planted some uh, uh, collards in it. So, did you see? Did you see that my collards already have, have uh, came up? Yeah. And I wasn't that. expecting that. They used to take a little longer than that. Yeah. I got to tell you, Britain. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of last week. Yeah, last, 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 last uh, when last you went Sunday, to yeah, Sunday yeah. when you was at church, we got out there hooked up. Me and Britt and I had yeah, so yeah, much fun out there, huh? Yeah, they've been a full weekend. Tomorrow will be a week. Mm -hmm. And usually yeah, take, usually take collard seeds longer than that to come up, especially if you pan them in the ground. Because the heat, the ground is warm and germinate. Yeah, I, I hope that's all that's nice to do. Ain't nothing special that they going with these seeds and stuff, making them all crazy. Guys, that's mostly what I'm concentrating on now. Y'all excuse the mix, I'm going to try to pop over. That's what I'm concentrating on now, is uh, working on sharing uh, my little tips and stuff with planting stuff the old-fashioned way. I want you guys to see that, but I had to... Uh, I had to do uh, some little practicing stuff, my, uh, practicing myself to see if I could still use the same tactics. Cause I don't want to. I told y'all from the start, I don't want to share anything with you guys that uh, may cause a a mess up. And then when I do what I know and it do work, then I share. And it's up to you. Um. Look at that uh, batter, guys. That's ready. And then, oh, I don't have it over here, guys, but I got uh, this here. I'm sprinkling powdered sugar on the top of it. But I don't have the powdered sugar in here. So remember, that's part of your uh, recipe. And all I'm going to do, guys, I don't know how much it is. Thanks, Tuck. I thought I didn't, I didn't know I had any in here. Uh, but guys, I'm going to simply pour this on over into my baking pan. And then I will be baking this. Hold on. I know it's 350 degrees. But I'm going to make sure. But whatever... The bike of your cake meat safe. That's what you need to do. I think I pulled some of this stuff down this hole. That's where I always take my time. You know. Do stuff. Because everybody know how to pour it in a pan. <laughs> you 
get to develop their own techniques. Because, uh, let me set this up like that. Tuck, where you at? I'm sorry, what you looking for? Just trying to look on there and see what time we had on it. Some of it all on the sick ass. Just gonna nicely wipe it off. You got that all, you must have looked at that box over there. That's what, I was, that's what I was trying to do. What did it say for a blunt pain? Probably about 40 minutes. What is, where's the box? Here you go. Thank you. Let's see, let me give Tuck. Uh, let me give Tuck a quick lesson in how to bake. You ever bake the cake here from uh, Cake Box? No. S step over here for a minute. <laughs> I'll show you something. Okay, this right here I'll tell you. This is going to tell you the pan size, like it got the uh, 20, and then that'll tell you the pan size, and then that's going to tell you the, uh, like if it's two rounds, you would bake it uh, 24 to 29 minutes. Okay, let me find that. pan is 38 to 40, 38 30 to, to 43 minutes. minutes. Okay. So you see how that works? Yeah. And that mm -hmm. abalone, you would just make it 23 to 33. That's where it comes. Okay. okay, guys. Now I see how to do that now. I'm going to bake a cake. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm going to show it to you guys once I do it. No, I'm going to film you doing it. <laughs> That'll be the first it. time ever. See, see, you think I can't, but I'm... <laughs> I ain't saying you can't make a cake. I don't do stuff. Don't mean I can't do it. I didn't say you could make a, a, a cake box cake too. Mm. And, and why, much of you've been watching me here in this past uh, since I started this YouTube journey. You ought to really know. And uh, you just I I I, I didn't want to show you everything because he he always um, uh, bragging saying how good a cook I am. So I didn't want to make him think it was too easy. So guys, I'm getting ready to put this in the oven and I will come back and show you when the cake is finished. I'll come back and show you how I sprinkle my uh, powdered sugar on it, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, the cake is out of the oven. Stayed in there for one three minutes exactly. And now I'm going to let the cake cool. And then I'll come back and show you guys the uh, sprinkling the uh, powdered sugar over don't it look good, job, Guys, it sure smell good. Okay, guys, be right back. Okay, guys, the delicious cake is out the oven. <clears throat> I got it on my pedestal. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to just show you how I um, put the sprinkle, uh, the powdered sugar on here. You guys may know another uh, more creative way than I do. Or you can just uh, simply... Uh, Say so that tape <laughs> and put it back on there, or you can just simply, you know, just sprinkle some on there. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is show you how I sprinkle it and all that stuff, and then I'll cut a cake has not quite finished cooling before I cut it, and then I'm going off. Hold this for me if you can. I'll put it on that dishcloth. Don't shake it, it'll come out. Okay. Cause Tuck got to get his thumbnail and he had to change from video to get his thumbnail. Ooh, that light hot. But I got this little sieve. Just take it and uh, sprinkle it. It's pretty lumpy. Let me do it like this. 
So I took maybe about a tablespoon and put on there. And I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the cake just like this. See if it got some lumps in it, like you if you uh, don't sift it or whatever, which I never do. I just put it in this here uh, little sifter and make it happen. And that's all to it, guys. Now I'm gonna go off and uh, let it finish cooling and sprinkle this on there. And then I'm going to come back and cut you guys a slice and let you see what it looked like on the inside. And I'm going to end this video so me and Tuck can finish, get on about our day. Be back in a minute. Okay, guys. We're back. And uh, Tuck done got his thumbnail. And it's still warm. Nice and warm. And I'm still going to go ahead on and cut you guys a piece so we can end this video. Guys, I'm going to have this here same recipe in the cookbook with a twist to it. I'm going to put a glaze instead of this powder sugar. I have tried this with the glaze and a, and a frosting, but I, that glaze that I put on there is absolutely it's banging. Like I told you guys, it's still hot. But I believe if you guys haven't already tried a cake like this because I don't know where she got the recipe for. You're going to absolutely love it. Just put you guys I left some up there but it's okay. I want you guys to see what it looks like on the inside. This is, uh, y'all want to see, they may take a taste or something. You know, I told you I don't do no kind of eating on the camera. <laughs> mm, mm. You're going to love it, guys. And then when I put it in the cookbook, with this other little twist that, I'm, I've got, that I put, I did with it, kind of um, testing it out, it was absolutely de delicious. Pass me a fork over that tub. But that can of frosting just take this cake to a whole new level of moisture. Of, of moisture. I can't talk. That's the reason I don't eat on no, on no camera nothing like that. But uh, you guys is going to love this. And especially when you're having guests or doing the holidays when you want to have a dessert that's really good and not trying to fix a ton of everything, but just want to have something there uh, simple and sweet, try this here. Uh, the, uh, moist, delicious, moist, delicious cake. I, I have the name on the, uh, uh, on the video. I'm going to look back on my... Uh, through my messages, met, uh, she had DM me this here cake uh, recipe and stuff. So I'm going to look and see what name did she have on it. So, okay, guys, I'm going to get ready to, um, wanna, let me turn it that way. You can see the pecans and the coconut in there. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, this is a good cake. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, remember, I've got to shout out my daughter, Britt Simone. And I see where um, when I was doing my comments, somebody asked me again for the name of her channel. And I'm going to have her to uh, uh, drop her channel, I mean, put her channel. Well, I may have to do it, put it in the description, start putting it in the descriptions of my videos so you guys know uh, what's the name of it. But uh, like I say, shout out to you, Britt Simone. And I hope everybody will go over and check you out. And remember to thumbs up my videos, guys. Don't forget and watch my com and watch the commercials that they put on my videos. And um, leave me a comment. And so have you ever had this cake before? And uh, <coughs> I get screwed up. 
and uh, what you what type of icing or feeling that you think that you would have to you know that you would put on there because I, I put another icing on there and I'm telling you guys it's the bomb.com I just wanted something a little you know a little more fancier a little fancier a little more you know how these people is oh they southern and Alabama can't talk and all that kind of stuff and the guys let me tell you let me tell you people out uh southern and no no kind of this or nothing on the northern don't ever doubt the smartness of a southerner. We got it good, and plus we got good manners. We was raised to say yes, sir, yes, ma'am, and we enjoy the simple, wholesome. I mean, the simple and wholesome things in life. And then when we go off to these Disney, Disney World, uh, 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 Destiny, Florida, and all that, that kind of stuff, we have a blast because we know how to treat people. And we don't bother nobody. You know, we're just good people all the way around. And we enjoy life to the highest on not having so much. So we ain't got the uh, fry of our brains trying to make all the money in the world. We just want enough to uh, live comfortable and uh, help out a few family members if you can. Go on some vacations. Eat good. <laughs> eat good because that's what God made it for us to do is eat and um. Don't worry about no. We take care of our own business. We don't worry about nobody else's business. And if people have a problem with us, we will raise. If somebody have a problem with you, that's their problem. It's not yours. Don't even worry about it. So, guys, that's all I got to say to you guys. And uh, I love you guys to the moon and back. And uh, remember what maybe I always tell you guys to uh, think positive. And use your common sense, and that will take you a long ways in life, guys. And I will see you all in my hey, guys. Listen, let me let me stop this for a minute. I got to tell you something Tuck said that's funny. You don't mind me telling it, do you, Tuck? <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> well, after we uh, uh, after he had cut the camera off and came over, you know, I had poured, I had poured the cake in the uh, in the uh, cake pan, and then he said, You forgot to put the powder sugar on. <laughs> I got so tickled, and he had just got through telling y'all he gonna bake a cake, and I said, uh, the powdered sugar don't go on there until after the cake is baked. He said, oh, oh, I didn't know. I said, oh yeah, that's all right, that's cool. But he gonna bake a cake for you guys one day, and I'm gonna step out and I help. Not really, I'm just joking. But I thought that was really funny. But he said, I thought I had forgot something, guys. And he told me I forgot to put the powdered sugar on. I start to say, you need to learn to listen. <laughs> Oh, okay, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye, you guys.